my gosh, Gaston. I'm trying to record here. <laughs> what are you doing? That's so inappropriate. Hey, hey, Cozy Gamer. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's just move. <laughs> so awkward. Misty here. Today I am excited to share my Force of Valor campground with you. I guess but, everything oh. the light touches Apparently is everybody part of this wants new to join me. Place. Okay. Simba, you're cool. But honestly, if I saw a lion in a real campground, <laughs> I would probably poo my pants. <laughs> Okay, um, if you do enjoy this video, please hit like to let me know. It really does mean so much and subscribe so you can be notified as I post new content. Okay, so this is sort of the entrance to my campground in the Forest of Valor as I come in from the well. Off to the left here, I have a couple of tents. I just happen to have a little bit of extra space here, so I put an extra tent here. I'm thinking about moving my Goofy stall over here and Kristoff's stall and just removing this orange tent because I think I may need to put the, the cottage house over here in this area. So this week in our shop, we have the purple cottage house. I finally had enough moonstones to actually get it while I was in the store and so now I need a place to put it because I unfortunately did not leave room for it <laughs> so right here I do have a little stall area just kind of a cute little marketplace we have the little cocoa stand with the arendellian pickled herring I believe it is and looks like another pickled um, <laughs> jar of something there some pumpkins, the little burlap sacks on a crate. We got um, Maribel's fabric. I don't know what you call this, the little quilt hanger thing. Kristoff stall, the fruit and veggie stand. Oh my gosh, do you love this vine lamp as much as I do? This thing is amazing. I just want to put it everywhere. <laughs> And of course, oh, Goofy gosh. stall. Wow, it sure is nice I just today. slid right in here, didn't you, Mickey? All right, so moving on, we're gonna go into the actual campground area here. So uh, we've got a couple of tents here as we walk in. I put a couple of the rugs underneath. I really wish we had more rug options. I hope they'll be adding some with the next update because we do not have enough rug options and Okay, let me know in the comments <laughs> if you feel like this pile of logs is not what you crafted. Okay, in the crafting menu right now, these just look so much better. And they're just like a lighter color and they show up a little bit easier. I feel like, especially in some of the darker biomes, these just look kind of terrible. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they'll fix that as well. But Anyway, as we come into the campground, we just have this little seating area over here. Got the telescope behind the tents. Love the little lights on that green tent, so cute. Off to the right, and I just added these tents in because I wanted to expand my campground after we got the Eternity Isle tents. Got the black tent, a little bicycle, a little place to hang out by the campfire. Anybody know why can we not cook here? This looks like I should be able to cook here, right? <laughs> I want I want to cook there. Um, we have the grill, the little picnic table with the camera and the guitar, a couple of burgers because that's what you're probably gonna eat when you go camping, or maybe hot dogs. Let me know what do you what do you eat when you go camping? And then coming into the sort of main campground area, this is what I had before I added the new tents. Um, so this was probably an earlier build. I think I, I initially put Buzz on the beach and then I think I moved him a few months after the new, uh, the, the door came to unlock, you know, Buzz and Woody. Okay. Clearly I can't talk today. Anyway, we have Buzz's RV right here with a cute, cozy little campsite I just I would definitely camp here I, I love this space and I used to have a one of the Norwegian spas back there the like hot tubs but I ended up moving that to a different area so now we have the well there 
Got a cute little critter house from, that's one of the ones from the Eternity Isle expansion. And we have this lovely little place to picnic. And then here we have the other little tent from, I think it's Woody's quest line. I love this little thing. It, it probably is supposed to go in a house, but before we got Eternity Isle, this was really the only tent we had. So <laughs> I thought it was really cute in this campground. And you know, honestly, uh, my kids would love to have a little fort like this uh, set up at our campground. <laughs> All right, so moving in through here, we then have the little bench area. I wanted to just have lots of trees around to make it f have kind of a woodsy, foresty vibe. And oh, um, got the little outhouse sure back nice there, today. you know, because every good campground has some kind of <laughs> toileting abilities. <laughs> All right, another little place to cook. We actually can cook at this one, so I don't know why we can't cook at the other one. Some more picnic tables. I do realize I should probably put some more food out here, but I actually don't mind them a little bit more bare. Maybe maybe these people have left the campground for the night, or I mean, the um, you know, they're, they're going to bed. They're, they're going to sleep. All right. And then that is, that is the campground. Let me change my settings here and I'll show you what it looks like at night. Oh gosh, it's getting late. Hey Mickey, thanks for joining us in our campground tour. Okay, so this is what it looks like at night with all of the beautiful lights. I just love those tangled lanterns up there. Love, love, love. That is one of my favorite items in the game for sure. And we'll just walk through a little bit so you can see all the pretty lights. We've got the back of Scrooge's shop over there. You know, in case they need to drive into town, they can go shopping and get some clothes or <laughs> let's keep it real. There's no clothes left in the store. <laughs> they can go pick up some items, some L-shaped countertops <laughs> if they need them. And that's it. Maybe I'll give you a top down view as well. So you can just kind of see where this is at in case you're trying to decide where you want to put your campgrounds. I really do love the stars peeking through right there. Oh my gosh. Yes. As I was just adjusting my settings, I caught this beautiful sunrise right here. I was just looking at different times of day. Oh, I just love all the pretty colors we get in the sky at various times. It looks like a big moon back there too. Oh my goodness. If only it actually ever looked like that, right? Okay, going into furniture mode, here is the top down view. I do plan to do more videos on the rest of my Forest of Valor, so uh, keep a lookout for that. But right here you see you've got the little marketplace area. This is the entrance from the plaza right behind that. And then here is where the campgrounds lies. All right, Cozy Gamer, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more Disney Dreamlight Valley content, give it a like and let me know in the comments. Up next, I'll be sharing more of my Forest of Valor where I also have my amusement park and Bell and Beast areas. Remember to subscribe if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching. Make today amazing, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Simba. I can't run from my past forever. No, you can't. No, you definitely can't. <laughs>